All right, if you're watching this video, I would assume that you probably also looked at the Word online video, but I'm going to recommend if you haven't that you go ahead and do that because realistically we've explained just about everything you need to know about the Excel online badge um, requirements within that Word online component. But I do want to go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to start off here in Office 365 uh, clicking on Excel online. Now again, remember if you're in your mail or if you're not on this screen, you're not sure how to get to it. I get to it by clicking right here on the Office 365, but I can also find these tiles anytime I'm in Office 365 by clicking the waffle up here in the upper left hand corner. So when I click that, I can now go ahead and click Excel Online. Now if you're not familiar with Excel, it's a spreadsheet program and it's amazing. You need to make sure that you use this. Math teachers, uh, science teachers, there's some ways you could use this as students are collecting data, data in labs, having them do basic calculations. It's a great thing for algebra, uh, being able to get some work done in there and, and kind of going through the, the order of operations and you know, middle school math, things like that. So anyway, I just want to go ahead and open it up. I want to remind us that to save, where it's automatically saving for us. So I'm going to name the file up here at the top center. When I do that, I'm going to call this sample spreadsheet. And now I can go ahead and click out of that, and it's going to go ahead and save that with the name that it's listed as. If I want to open the full desktop version of Excel, I can open it up right here. And if I want to add in comments, I can always go back to the review area here. And the comment feature that we talked about in Word is here also. Now, if you're not familiar with it, again, we'll do some more in-depth stuff uh, in training on Excel. But this is just to touch on some of the things that we want you to be able to do as you're working and collaborating with people. So we still have the comment feature like we said. I am going to open this in the Excel desktop version for just a second. It pops up when I clicked up here, it popped up the message to launch the application or do nothing. I'm going to say launch the application. I'm going to let it open up. And remember now because I created this in the cloud, when I go to file save here from the desktop version, it's going to save back in the cloud in my OneDrive. So just be aware of that. If I'm using the desktop version, I'm going to want to do a file save to be able to get it to be saved. But when I'm in the online version, I'm not going to have to worry about that. So remember to tell if you're online up here in the upper left hand corner, if it says Excel online, you're in the online version. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue to open this document uh, or look at this document in the desktop version. So the window inside of this is the desktop version now that I'm uh, kind of hovering over. When I go ahead and close this now, or I guess let me do this, I'm going to type something in one of these cells, and I'm going to go ahead and say File Save, just so we can get the experience of what it looks like when I go back into the desktop version. So all I'm doing here is trying to get you familiar with the difference between the two and what you can do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my browser here. You can see now that this piece is here that I typed in the desktop version. Now remember to share with somebody. I've got this. Uh, button in the upper right hand corner. Again, this works from when I'm in the online version. So I'm back in the online version. And if I wanted to go open it back in Excel in the desktop version, I'd have to come back in here. So if I share it, I get this little dialog box that I can do things with. And when you're ready to go ahead and use a spreadsheet for yourself and try to earn this badge, or once you're ready to share one that you've shared with a student, then at that point you can go ahead and say get link right here. At that point you'd want to go ahead and get a view only link. And then you'll copy this link right here. That that's what you'll upload to us here in Credly. If you want to share it with somebody else, though, you're going to go back to Invite People. And you're going to simply type in their name and select it there. You can put in the message and whatever you want to do. But again, this badge is more designed just to do the same things that we did in the Word Online badge. Uh, and then, the, of course, our PowerPoint one is going to be similar to that also. I'm not going in depth right now into the actual uses of Excel. That will come down the road. Just want to make sure we know how to share and do the basic things within the online version and the desktop version. Hopefully that helps you and go ahead and get ready to claim that badge.